Well, hello there and welcome to this video on uh, the use of the dollar sign in Microsoft Excel. Uh, basically, the dollar sign is used in formulas to stop the particular reference it's in front of moving within that formula. So, as you can see here, we have some uh, data and it's basically data for various locations here. And then uh, we've got in column B, we've got uh, the forecast quarterly sales and then we've got in uh, column C to F the actual quarterly sales split by quarter. So what we want to do, let's say, is compare each one of those quarters to the forecast and uh, you know see how it compares, see whether it's above or below. So the uh, shove in some uh, headers here that would be um, actual versus forecast and then Q1 just drag these across to populate them all um, yeah that should do it um, so in here we want the actual versus forecast for Q1 for each one of these offices so we can type um, just a standard formula, so just an if uh, formula, and just uh, if C1, or C2 rather, is greater than B2, then, I don't know, good. Uh, else, bad. So it's going to say good if it's above the uh, the forecast and bad if it's below the forecast. So if we copy that down, you see the only the only office that failed was Managua. Um, so that's great. That works. You know the uh, the references have changed as you see. We drank it down so it's gone from C two to C three to C four to C five. Um, but then, if we drag it across, because we want to do the other quarters, everybody's bad, which doesn't really make an enormous amount of sense. Because, as you can see, we've got uh, Juno here, who have done well in, uh, in Q2. They've beaten their target. So, or beaten the forecast, rather. So... What's going on here is dragging it down worked fine because we were comparing, um, you know, two two cells in uh, in the same row basically, uh, C and B. But dragging it across, you can see what's happened is it's now comp comparing D and C. So instead of um, comparing this cell to this cell, it's now comparing this cell to this cell which we don't want it to do. Um, what we want to do is be comparing D to B. So the way to get around this is to use dollar sign. Um, so if we go back into our original formula here, um, the dollar sign basically stops the references moving. So what we want to do here is we want the reference uh, to C to move because as we go across we want it to be looking at quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, but we don't want the reference to column B to be moving because we always want to be comparing it to uh, the forecast quarterly sales. So we just, to do that, we just need to uh, put the dollar sign in there um, and press return and then we can copy that down. And as you can see, works exactly the same there. But when we copy it across here, we can see that Juno now has its good, um, its good month, um, and all the rest were bad. The company did terribly in this year. Um, but yeah, as you can as you can see, it's now up here looking at B. So still looking at D there and E there, and F there, but 
looking at comparing them to uh, column B. Um, so you can use the dollar sign in front of, you know, column references, or you can use it in front of row references. Um, it might be that you had one number that was, uh, was the, the monthly target. Um, so if we said we had, instead of, um, column B being the monthly target, the monthly target was just, uh, one, one number for all offices. So, Let's say it was um, 15,000 for all the offices. We could change the formula to compare all these quarters to that 15,000 um, by just replacing B2 with that cell there, which is B11, and pressing Enter. And now we don't want it to be moving at all. We don't want it to move sideways or downwards when we move the formula. So we'll put dollar signs in front of the B and in front of the 11 and press return. And then if we drag it across and then drag it down, we can see it's changed a bit. Um, you know, Juno's lost its good Q2, but uh, Chisinau now has a good Q2 because obviously they have 24,437, which is more than 15,000. Um, and yeah, that's uh, basically how uh, the uh, dollar sign works in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.